goes for uh, the best leg. Uh, now, of course, when we're talking of legs, we're not talking about... Let's have a look at Luchos. He's what drives this, this league into the ground. But in all seriousness, it's for the swiftest leg of this season. Previous year, was won by Danny Wright with something like 17 darts, which is a tremendous feat. Really super ahead there. <laughs> This year it goes to our erstwhile cricket chairman and three-time champion of L17, <laughs> Stuart Lewis. We've had in previous years the likes of Robin Brown. Hello! Nice to see him back for a recent trip to Beirut. This year was one with three of the most extraordinary darts I've never seen. I was stood down there watching out of the window as Pama Singh ran majestically after a rabbit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I was told by league officials, of which I am answerable to, that a young man hit a 140 out shot, which in this level of darts, which of course is the pinnacle of, <laughs> of world darts, is quite extraordinary. The highest out shot of 2010-11, and that's encompassing two years, goes to Danny Wright. Danny. winning the second Super League, one which would be held uh, most dearly to anyone. A former player of ours, best of order, who uh, passed away just after winning this trophy actually, Robbie Lindo. So since then we've named the, uh, the trophy on his behalf for the person who scores the most with, uh, with three darts. Lindo! We've had Kev Taylor winning it twice before then. Sorry, once. Uh, with 162 against my kind self, and that really put me up a stroke back then. <laughs> <laughs> really, really disappointed. Uh, but this year, um, the same man rocked up with a score just two less, but nonetheless beautiful, and he really does combine a certain charm with a brute force which is really necessary on the hockey these days. <laughs> so, uh, as uh, a fellow uh, hard man and enforcer, I'd it's like to ask you. You've been warned once. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, these boys are coming out. <laughs> uh, to get a man of a similar ill on the stage to accept it on his behalf, you and Williams. <laughs> Not quite there, really. Uh, the second play division competed in with people who have IQs of less than 30. <laughs> myself included. Um, this year was very keenly contested uh, between a medley of retards, maybe? <laughs> uh, no. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> throws three darts quicker than it takes you and Williams to be bought off after an over. <laughs> uh, Paul Abbott, finalist this evening, who threw inconsistently but at times 
uh, yeah, pretty well. <laughs> um, the main two at the top of the tree were Chris Bromerton, Harry Lyme himself over there. <laughs> stamp impression <laughs> <laughs> from that era of cinema if those are interesting um, but the winner with a lovely a lovely topping of, uh, of ginger hair very <laughs> 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 hot <laughs> because all it does is entitle you to promotion to a competition which, to my mind, has been devalued by the dominance of a particular man <laughs> who should have moved on to the Mughal League years ago. <laughs> Never mind. This, this uh, lovely plate here, which I once looked at when I was in the final and uh, I completely ignored and lost, goes to the youngest ever man to appear in any form of set and dance. Someone who has, <laughs> and this is where the lash probably stops, <laughs> um, someone who has an ability for darts which for his age is quite extraordinary and I'd imagine that within a couple of years we'll be seeing him taking on the current champion for his trophy. This goes to Chris Smart. <laughs> Super League, the uh, money-driven, age-obsessed, <laughs> fast that it is. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Um, the Battle for the Top of the Table trophy was a lot more keenly contested than some thought it would be this year. We'd had a competition where everyone in it had won games into the rook at some sort of level uh, in previous years. Uh, no one let themselves down, even at the bottom of the table, Kev Taylor and John Northcroft, who both got relegated, pitted themselves admirably against some of the better players in the tournament. Uh, John, for example, gave some really sterling performances when backed by, admittedly, a fairly partisan crowd, especially on this side here, <laughs> um, and left the league with no disgrace. So they'll, be, they'll, they'll be welcomed in the uh, slummy league next year. <laughs> uh, just above them, immediately above them, someone who did leave the league with some who should have left the league essentially. Um, <laughs> Williams, uh, a former finalist who's decided that darts isn't for him. <laughs> <laughs> Yet still, still vaguely wanders around in a mishap pension who can compete at darts. <laughs> and the gentleman good score tonight as well. Yeah. Yeah. If ever there was a parallel to be drawn with Alex Higgins, there's one here. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Higgins won two world titles, Jim. Try winning some games. <laughs> have your bells and I'll enjoy a night, mate, but let's just have some, uh, some darts and the, the doubles and trips if we could. <laughs> <laughs> On from there, new entrant Will House performed admirably, um, apart from falling asleep one night. Which, uh, <laughs> um, he, had, he added a sort of pantomime villain quality to it, which was seized upon by some of the local blizzards. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Horty, and <laughs> also you, John, and you instead, even though you were there at the time. <laughs> Stu Lump was a, uh, a gentleman and a scholar. We, we spoke for minutes and minutes about the editorial and the times of that day. Despite having not read it. <laughs> Being committed guardian readers, but that's all wishy-washy uh, status for you. Uh, but the big two at the top, 
um, that we, we need to look at tonight. Terry, of course, will come to later when given this trophy, but the guy who won the second Super League trophy, despite a slip-up against John Garnett, and despite the odd draw which we would call... No crap! Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it shows a real strength of character and a strength of his ability at the sport that after a, um, a time where you've had setbacks and you may have lost and you may have drawn when you think you should have won, to come back and go through the quarter final and the semi final and indeed the final tonight um, just shows what uh, a, a great player he is. This is just this is for winning the, the top of the league trophy, which is now his third in a row. It's Stuart Lennon. Which, if you wanted to replicate, um, who was the woman who knocked out uh, Dirty Den the second time? He was back in East Enders. She killed him with a uh, just for Angie. And no, uh, Angie the first time. Christine James. She wins them both. Good night. God bless. Yeah. Right, <laughs> 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 <laughs>